I'm Katie from What Katie Did and welcome back. Today I'm going to address the question of how many straps your suspender or garter belt should have. Back in the 1940s and 50s when people used to wear stockings every day, they were quite happy with four straps, whereas today serious stocking wearers prefer six. What brought about these changes and, and why is it so important? If you've been watching my videos recently over the last few weeks, you'll know I've been talking about the 1940s quite a lot, uh, lifestyle and fashion, and I'm going to blame suspender belts on this too, because during the 1940s, there was a lot of restriction on, on what could be made due to, due to lack of fabrics, and also women took on a more active role. So they moved a lot away from long line girdles like this, which um, were really quite restricting, and moved towards suspender belts like this. And this is actually an army issue CC41 suspender belt. Um, the, you didn't just get your uniform, you got everything issued to you if you, were, if you were a woman in the army or in the armed forces. And this is the government issue suspender belt. As you can see, it only has four straps. But as you can also see, it's very, very deep. And if I put it against this mannequin here, you can see that basically it's almost the same length, same depth as a girdle. And this is very important because if the suspender belt is very, very deep, you get less movement in between the, the bottom of the suspender belt and your suspender strap. So as you can see here, the suspender strap is it's on its tightest hook tightest setting here but it's only a couple of inches long so it's not going to move around if you're wearing that that's quite a secure piece and there's not going to be a huge amount of movement from the suspender strap and again at the back the back goes down very low over your bottom and although the back straps are slightly longer there's not going to be a lot of movement um, when you're walking around and um, the gap between your suspender belt and your stockings is quite short so it's going to keep everything quite secure Again, if you look at the girdles, which people would have worn before the suspender belts, the girdles, um, the straps are still very, very short, and girdles remained very, very popular right up until the 60s, 70s. So although those suspender belts started to be made in the 40s and, and were in fashion, a lot of women, especially older women, would keep, would keep to the girdle because that's what they grew up with. Now, we've done a take on this CC41 suspender belt, which is our... CC09 suspender belt. Um, our CC09 range, the first incarnation of it was in 2009, which is why we called it to, uh, CC09. Um, and this is our, our version of it. It's still deep when you look at a modern suspender belt, um, and I'll show you a picture of it on the model so you can see how, how deep it actually is. But as you can see, even on this one, the suspender straps are far longer, which means that if you wear it with um, a small pair of knickers, then you're going to get a lot of movement with the straps, far more than the 1940s version. And the reason we didn't replicate this 1940s version is because it just looked too sturdy and functional. And I know on a lot of stocking forums and groups, people, people do comment on six strap suspender belts, and they do say they, they look they look um, sturdy and, and functional, and they want something a bit sexier. And, and the truth of the matter is, is that they do, they do, to actually do the job, they do need to be deeper, and they do need to be more substantial. And personally, I feel you can't, you can't feel sexy if you're, if you're not comfortable. So I prefer to have something just a little bit sturdier that's going to stay in place all day than, than something flimsy that you're going to be worried about slipping down all day. And if you, if you take a look at our CC09 suspender heel, you'll also notice that this one does have six straps. Um, we put six straps on because, well, firstly, we know, we know you don't like four straps. We have experimented with four straps in the past simply because they are more period correct and they really don't sell as well as six straps at all. And also because it was narrower, then we, we decided we, we would need to have one on the side as well. The reason we, we put off doing a 1940 suspender belt for so long was we couldn't work out exactly where we were going to put where we we're going to put the extra strap. And in the end, luckily with our design, we managed to squeeze it in. So so this one does does work well um, as as a modern take on a 1940s design. When you look at the era when stockings were really in fashion, you're actually looking at a very narrow area of time. Uh, 
skirts in the 30s were quite long. It's not until the 40s that they became shorter to just below the knee and throughout the 50s. And that's, that tends to be when we think about stockings being really an integral part of your outfit. So you're only really looking at two decades. So in the 40s, you'd be wearing a girdle or you'd be wearing um, a very deep suspender belt like this. In the 50s, you'd still be wearing something similar. Yes, suspender belts were coming in and they were becoming shorter, but they would still be far more substantial than the suspender belts you see today. And it's quite interesting when you think about it because when tights came in in the 1960s, this is when suspender belts really became quite brief. And this is when stockings went out of fashion. And I can, I can only think of do the two tie together is if you were growing up in the 1960s and you thought, yeah, I want to wear a nice little fashionable suspender belt, I don't want to wear this thing here, that you'd wear a nice little fashionable suspender belt and then you start getting the slipping and sliding and things twisting around and you were like, no, I'm, I'm, stockings aren't worth it, I'm just going to wear tights. And it, it seems to me that that could be very much the case because the right suspender belt or girdle really does make the difference when you when you wear stockings. When you look at contemporary designers, they still use four straps and they still use um, a very, a very narrow waistband. And I really don't know why, why this is because it, it really is insecure when you wear stockings. And I can see if you, if you wear something like that, then it's, it's going to turn you off stockings immediately because every, everything will be moving around and, and it won't be comfortable. I can, I can only imagine, I can only think that designers are doing a suspender belt as an add-on or as something sexy for the bedroom and not something that you'd wear every day. And of course, when they look at history, they will have seen that all suspenders or girdles had four straps. So they'd be thinking, yep, well, that, they have four straps and that's, that's the reason why people, people coped well in the 40s and 50s when they wore stockings every day. So I'm sure they can, they can cope with four, four straps now with this narrow little suspender belt and everything will be fine. And the other thing you have to remember is that when you look at contemporary fashion and contemporary lingerie design is that the knickers are a lot smaller as well. Um, in the 1950s, you'd be wearing your, you'd be wearing your um, wide suspender belt and you'd be wearing your knickers over the top and the, the, leg line, the leg line of your knicker would again stop would we'd be down here, so it would stop any movement and help keep things in place. Whereas if you're going to wear a modern, very narrow suspender belt with a tiny pair of knickers, then nothing's going to be held in place and everything's going to move around and slip inside. So when it comes to lingerie and stockings, the decade that you really need to look to is the 1950s because that is really the one decade where there was a slight crossover between girdles and suspender belts where women did wear stockings every day and where lingerie work came away from the functionality of the 1940s and was beginning to look glamorous. So I guess that we're lucky with what Katie did. That's why we focus on that decade is because it, is, it, co it combines both comfort and glamour and durability. So it, it basically covers everything you need. I do have another video on suspender belts about what to find, what to look for in the perfect suspender belts. And if you have liked this video, please do subscribe, just click below and I'll catch up with you soon. So take care.